Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're working on a Gregory lawnmower today and we're going to walk you through a review on the Kawasaki engine. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers in the garage now, we have a ProTurn ZX60 Gravely Zero Turn lawnmower. And in today's video, we're going to talk more about the Kawasaki engine on the back portion of the mower. We've got our owner's manual here. And again, Kawasaki, this is a four stroke air cooled V twin gasoline engine. Go ahead and turn to page 10. This is going to be a very helpful two pages, page 10 and page 11. It's got a pictorial image of your engine and it's got numbers and then it's got the corresponding numbers down below which tell you what is what. Number one, warning label. As you can see here, let's go ahead and take this over to the engine. A couple black cards right down in there you can see. And here is a better view of the Kawasaki engine. And again, this is the engine that is on most gravely mowers that are commercial grade. In the event that you purchase a mower that is residential level, it will have a slightly different design. And the design differences between commercial and residential are due to the amount of hours and work that commercial mowers go through as opposed to residential mowers. In most cases, residential mowers may get just a couple hours of use each week during the summer. However, commercial mowers will get many more hours per week. And back to the owner's manual. Number two, important engine information label. That's on the back side as well. Engine maintenance label and the engine serial number. That's all on there. And on to page 11, it talks more about the parts. Starting with A, the air cleaner, as you can see here. And the top portion and then the side portion. This entire portion here is your air filter case. And inside here, by unlocking these locking clips, you can gain access to your internal filter. Shift this cover right off and I'll place that in a safe location real quick. Never put it on top of this portion because you don't want any debris falling inside here. And here is your air filter. And again, the commercial engine is different. Your air filter, if you have a residential engine, it will be slightly different in design. And you can pull this out and it has an additional filter inside there. There's what the internal portion looks like. So a lot of engineering goes into the commercial level engine filters. And as you shift this back into place, just carefully realign it and shift it in and you can carefully reinstall the cap with that part facing down. Align your clips properly. Back to the owner's manual. Letter B is your air inlet guard, shown here. And that's what I was just talking about right here. That sucks in a lot of air, and that means that can suck in additional debris. So again, don't take your filter cap off and set it on your vent here. You wanna do your best to alleviate putting debris on this portion here. And you can see the Kawasaki logo there, which is pretty neat. Back to the owner's manual. Letter C is your oil drain plug and D oil filter, as shown here, C and D. And in addition, there is an oil drain line. I'll show you that as we look through here. On this portion here, you've got your oil dipstick. And by shifting it to the left, you can carefully pull it out and you will have a fill and add line as shown there. Those four dots are within those two lines and you wanna make sure the oil level is within those proper fill lines to alleviate any undue or unnecessary stress on your engine. Go ahead and carefully realign the thread and secure the cap. In addition, as I was just mentioning, right there is your oil drain line. That's where you drain the oil. And then coming down below, Right here, you have your oil filter, which is in a pretty safe and friendly location for servicing it. Back up top and to the owner's manual. All right, YouTubers, letter E is your spark plug and your spark plug boots. We just talked about the oil drain line right here. And just above it is your spark plug boot. And inside here is your spark plug. F, oil gauge, we've already showed you that by removing the dipstick and going down below to see the parameters. Letter K is your control panel, as shown here. And that is right down in here as well. This is your carburetor and your throttle cable. As you can see, there's a lot of engineering that goes into these commercial grade engines. Because again, they're workhorses and they are going to take abuse over their lifetime. But with that said, Kawasaki's are built very solid and strong and reliable to take that abuse. Letter L is your carburetor. I'll show you that here shortly. Letter M, clean out panel, if you have that. And as I showed you a little bit ago, your carburetor right in this area right here. There's your exhaust down below. Never ever touch that. That is extremely hot. G is your fuel pump. And to gain access to those, what we'll do is lift the seat. On the back side, you've got this lever here. Shift it rearward and raise your seat. Carefully shift it to the upright and resting position. At this point, you have much better access to a lot of parts underneath your seat. Your battery, your gas tank, fuel hoses, fuel filter. 
and expansion tanks for your hydraulic system. However, here's the additional information I wanted to show you all in there. Additional electrical wiring and your actual block down there. And here's the back side of your air filter case. And right down here is your voltage regulator and your fuel pump, your starter, and your fuel filter, as I mentioned earlier. So that's it, YouTubers. Pretty impressive engine, as you can see. On the backhand side, you've got the very famous and awesome Gravely logo in a plaque card, which is pressed onto the steel frame that has the grill cutouts to allow your engine to properly ventilate and breathe to alleviate overheating. And when it comes time to service, you can remove this whole entire black steel protection plate. On the inner side, you have nuts that you can remove and take that entire panel off, which gives you much better access to the lower portion of the engine. And since we're back to the air filter case, you've got the word top right there. So make sure that's on the top as opposed to down below. And this portion is in the proper position. And on the side, you do have cutouts, which will allow your locking clips to secure the cap in place on the remaining portion of the case. So that's it, YouTube. And as I mentioned earlier, Gravely has begun engineering their own engines. So in my opinion, maybe in the next three to five years, you will see only Gravely engines on your Gravely mowers, which is definitely not a bad thing. So from here, YouTubers, again, we hope the video helped. Do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be awesome and very helpful to us. Thanks again for watching.